Tottenham 2, Manchester United 2. United blow a two-goal lead at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Half-time, KG will 2 no up. Full-time, it's 2-2. Two, two. What are your thoughts? Did we blow it? Bottle jobs. That's it. Bottle jobs. There's a lot of bottles being thrown around underneath the, like, the people that are really getting for stuff. And then there's the bottlers. And you know what? Man United, you have to put them in there with that because today, Newcastle, they get the result. They do what they need to do. Man United, they got one job. One job. Literally one job. Get it done. Secure the win. And we go another another time we play a, a top nine side or something. I mean, don't get the result away from home. It's ridiculous. Like, that's that's an embarrassment considering how we started that game. Like, I can't believe it. Like, I'm so disappointed in, like, I'm disappointed in even maybe the, the changes just, like... And you know what's so crazy? I would always say, Ericsson off, Fred on. Fred, diabolical. Another player, diabolical. Casemiro, diabolical. I don't even know what's going on. He didn't... It, like, how does... How do we lose that midfield today in terms of what they have to what we have? It's a joke. It's ridiculous. It's a, it's a lack of energy. Just lack... Just the team lacked character, lack bite, lack fight, lacked everything you're looking for in a team that's saying, you know what, I want to secure this top four because now, not like it's wide open, still got a game in hand, still, it's still in, it's, Man United can still do it, right? It's still up to them. But then, don't make it easy. Yeah. It's just that, that don't make it easy for teams. Now, you've got to go to, what's our next game? Aston Villa. Aston Villa at home. And I think to your point, it's the case whereby, like you say, if we win tonight, you're nine points ahead of them, two games in hand. It's done, basically. It's done. You've, you've, you've got it. And like you say, it's not that it's over, but it's just a case of like, again. From a two-goal lead. From a two-goal lead. And why why do you think we see this? I mean, because we're, Ten Hag said it in his press conference saying it's about, you know, we, how many times we've spoken about bouncing back this season. Next game will bounce back. And I'm sure he'll be asked about it again. Or can you bounce back in the next game? But as he said, why can't we bounce back in the game? Why when we go... You know, when we still got a lead 2-1, why don't we go, OK, let's just settle this down. I think from the moment that we went 2-1 down, we knew. You we knew, knew they were good. It was, we knew it was, it was coming. It was, it was like, do you know what, what's crazy about this result Yeah, is we're lucky to get away with um, with a point. Yeah. They missed some big ones. They missed some big chances. Some missed a chance. I think someone missed a free header. Well, I don't know if it's Eric Kula. Or, oh, there you go. So it's it's frustrating. I'm, I'm, I am frustrated. I don't want to overreact. But I'm frustrated. I am, like, considering the side, and we knew that, do you know what was worse? The worst thing about that performance is, in the first half, that's when we was expecting Spurs to show up. The Spurs that lost, and the Spurs that wants to have a reaction. Man United deal with the first half. Second half, they come out chilled. They come out relaxed, and we're not scoring enough goals. Man United are not being clinical enough. I'm thinking about clean sheet and just excitement. I get worried because Kane hasn't had his moment today. Kane hasn't been inv involved in a game. Kane has his moment. Kane does what? You know why we're saying, is Kane a good player? Is Kane that, someone that we should be looking at? You know, so f just to, have, to end like that is just annoyed me. I'm annoyed. Um... Yeah, Man United, and again, it's it's the it's the players, it's the bit part players or the lack of quality that we need to call on off the bench because there, there needs to be when Casemiro playing rubbish like that, we have to be able to drop him, we have to be able to take him off. But for who? So even now I'm mad with Casemiro, who am I bringing on? Fred's gonna come on and drop a stinker like that. No one actually can play that position in that way. We keep doing this thing when we keep Bru moving Bruno out to um why to do what? Like when he's having all the effect from the number 10 position and we're bringing on wild web course, I haven't seen anything from that guy. Again, it's just crap, basically. Do you think I mean I have seen this criticism in the few minutes after the game saying that this might be one of the sort of rare occasions uh, this season where after the game, you can criticise the manager because you say, like you said, the subs that he did, they didn't work out today. You know, taking no, off yeah. Wan-Bissaka, who was playing well for Malassia, who was at fault for the second goal. You take off Anthony, who was effective on the right-hand side and supports the right-hand side. For and Vecor. just push them back, push them and back. Like, exactly, like you said, then Fred comes on as well. Like it just, it all didn't work, those decisions that were made today. Yeah, but you know, you want to... When you, like, I, I do blame the manager in that case. But the manager's going to want to freshen things up. 
end of the day, Man United was starting to get overran in that game. And he wanted to make a difference, wanted to make a change. But your changes are rubbish. You know what I mean? Like, Martial came on, didn't give anything. Didn't really, didn't offer nothing, you know. Um, the players before were just the first half players and you you rue the chance. When Bruno misses that chance, when it goes over and then wan does that mad header. Yeah. We should have known it's there, it's done in that moment there. And you know what? Um, it's a shame. It's just a, it's a silly, it's a silly thing to happen in a game. And our manager just has to learn from it. But I hate it. Like Man United, we bottled that moment. We bottled it. But again, there's enough games for us to do what we need to do. We just have to secure our position. And they mm. never make it easy. That's the the one thing is Man United will never make it easy. But there's enough games for Man United to just get an act together and finish off the what saying. Aston Villa at home is our next game. Aston Villa at home, then Brighton away. <sighs> Bloody hell. Brighton away. That's why I'm. That's why I was saying, you know, if we'd won tonight, it's going to be difficult. We we like what, the one <laughs> thing is the one thing is um, Spurs play Liverpool, who are the other people that are just you know hunting. They're in the hunt. They're a bit couple points off, but they're in the hunt. So now Man United just need to again. We just need to get our act together. You know, there's a lot of games. There's a lot. Uh, Newcastle got to play Arsenal. So it's tough, you know what I mean? There's games where it can be difficult. We just got to really step up, man. I, like, I'm a bit, I'm annoyed. I am annoyed by that result. But Man United you know, just have to react again, asking for another reaction. But I'm sick and tired of asking for reactions now. It's like, you needed to learn from that Sevilla. And that showed we learned nothing, you know? And it's not mm. like, you can't blame Maguire for this one. This is nothing to do with him. This is like... These are the boys, right? This is yeah. Lynn Lost Shaw, everyone. And again, it's just poor. Like the like Rashid doesn't win the header. And then Malassi, I don't know where he is. I don't know. He's fresh, like fresh energy. And then you can't run. Like that's that's worrying. Malassia now is starting to worry me just a little bit. And I know it's his mm. first season, so I'm gonna take it easy on him. But big man, get your act together because you've cost us. You've cost us, you like you cost us in the first severe tie, who like let pretty much let us out of the bl bloody tournament, and you cost us again. You know what I mean? It's like it's just like it's silly. It's so silly. And you know what? Man United have themselves to blame. As a squad, we let ourselves down. I'm I'm got like I'm really looking at the players that should step up today. And Casemiro, I don't know where he was. Casemiro's been missing for like at least two to three games and we're waiting to see that midfield boss and then it got just goes to show Martinez it goes to show um the players that just that keep the things together in that strength and that leadership and just battling through you know in these moments sometimes it's not about just just the straight winning it's about battle and these guys the, the some of the originals just bottle. They haven't got the battle in them. And with Martinez, you know absolutely he's gonna battle all the way, and that's infectious around the whole team. And everyone's fist bumping, everyone's in it, everyone's saying, you know what, enjoying the art of defending. You're not gonna just allow things to go past. It's it's disgusting. You we you should probably look at our record now without him and say it's it's probably glaring. You know we're missing that that dog in the team. But yeah. Mm. Well, there you go, guys. Look, we move on to the weekend, Sunday. Big, big games coming up now that have even more importance on them. Aston Villa at Old Trafford, Brighton away from home. And uh, as we have done plenty of times this season, we've got to bounce back on our next game at home. We're out of here. Peace. <laughs>